Hey guys, it's Kavik. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. We're not going to talk about gear loadouts or strategy. Instead, we're going to take a look at the Coat of Arms Creator. There are a fair number of options here, and since there's no real guidance, a lot of people end up with a very simple look. So today we're going to go through all the options and show you how to get some different effects and patterns that you might not have tried before. There's a few basic concepts that we're going to go over first. We're going to start in the division section. Anything up here that shows as black is controlled by this row of changes. Anything that shows as white is controlled by this row of changes. And within this second row, we'll call this the main row, this is the second row, and this the third row. Within this second row, anything that shows as black is affected by the first row of colors, and anything that shows as white is affected by the second row of colors. And that also applies to this row. Anything black is the first row, and anything white is the second row. This row controls the color of the back of the leaves on either side of your coat of arms, and this color controls the front of those leaves. So a lot of people might mess with these colors. They might just jump in and mess with the second row of colors and think nothing's happening. And they might do the same thing down here. And the reason for that is because, as we said, the black, anything black, is controlled by the first row of colors. So we're only affecting, you know, the second row. So since we've, since we've selected this black one, nothing that we do down here is going to change. But if we start changing colors up here, we see the fronts of the leaves change. And this one is the backs of the leaves. So we're going to go with a simple blue and white, like this. And obviously, choose whatever you think looks good. I'm just going through this to show you some different options that you might have. So we've decided we want the backs of our leaves to be blue and the front white, and we're going to stick with those as kind of our main colors throughout this. Now we'll come up here to the top of the division, and you can click these different options, and you see that now that we have different colors, they actually do things. If your colors are all the same, they don't do anything, so there needs to be some kind of difference. So you can see anything that is black uses the color from the first row, and anything that's white uses the color from the second row. So we're just going to pick this kind of diagonal slash and use this the rest of the time. And as I keep repeating myself, but the black parts is the blue right here, and the white parts is the white because that's our second color. And we'll come back to these patterns in a moment. The next thing we're going to do is pick our charge. And this is one of the most important parts. This is the symbol that stands out the most on your shield, so pick something you like. I'm just going to go with this colored dog down here so I can show you some other options. Now, an important thing to note is this yellow-blue switch doesn't do anything except toggle you back and forth between yellow and blue, which you can do over here on your own. The red-white does the same, and here's red and here's white. So unless you're trying to decide between those two colors, there's not really any reason to use these. The other important thing to know is that in the charge section, it's kind of hard to see on these icons, but anything that shows as red will be the color you select right here. Anything that shows as pink will be either a different shade of that same color or a different color completely. Most of the time it's a complementary color, sometimes it's just gold, um, and you can't control that. And anything that shows as yellow is going to be a black outline. So it's pretty hard to make out here, but we see a yellow outline of a red dog with a pink collar. And if we select white, we get our white dog. The yellow outline becomes black on the charge and the pink collar becomes gold. Now if we select yellow, the dog becomes yellow, and the collar 
changes colors to a darker shade. Blue becomes a lighter shade. With red you get green, purple and gold, black and gold, and green and gold. So you don't have quite as much control of color down here, but if you pay attention you can figure out what's going to happen before you click it and get an idea that you like. Now we're going to come up here to the Ordinary section. And there's a lot of different options here. You can, we'll change the color to make it easier to see. If you just click through, you can see that there's a lot of different options. I'll show you one of the cooler effects really quick. If you come up here and change from our current division, which is this one, to this one, and down here in Ordinary, you see that this X is kind of a gray instead of the white of most of the colors. It seems to be partially transparent, and anywhere that it overlaps with another color will become darker. So you can click that again, and if we change this to blue, you'll see that where they overlap are the same color, and the rest of it is a lighter shade. So you get this kind of cool effect that you can't achieve otherwise. So we're going to go back to our stripe in blue, and we'll just go ahead and select this as our ordinary. And we're going to leave it white. Actually, we'll make it red for now so we can see what we're doing, but it will end up white. And we'll put our dog back on. Now that we have some division set up and a general idea of how we want to look, we can come up here and play around with different options. So, as you can see, anything we click here that's black is affected by this first color and becomes blue, and anything that's white in this picture is affected by our second color and is going to become white. So, we can just click through and try different things out, but for now, we just want to leave this blue. As I've said over and over again, anything white up here is going to be affected by the second row and that includes patterns. So the white stripe behind our dog back here is going to be affected by this row of patterns. So if you change one of these colors, we're only going to change the second one because we want these leaves to remain white. We'll only change our second color and we will change it to red. As you can see when you click through the pattern changes. Now this is why I said we were going to put our ordinary as white because I already knew that I wanted to play with this pattern. Now the one that I think is the most interesting for this is these two. It gives you two different options. They're exactly the same except for the colors are inverted which you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So there's lots of options. But then there's this one and this one. And it's kind of nice because you get your blue top right, your blue bottom left, your white stripe in the middle, and then what would normally just be a red stripe right here. If you had like this, but instead you can make a red stripe with an interesting pattern on it that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. And now we'll go down to crest and then all of the feathers you'll find at the end here are either red or white or a mix of both. But as you can see we got a bit more interesting effect than a lot of people are currently using. We have three different primary colors, our red, white, and blue, and our red is also patterned here. And we've overlaid a different ordinary onto our division to create a slightly more complex variation. And when you come back to your profile editor, you can see how it displays on your shield and how it displays on your chest piece. And that's how it would look on your chest piece. If you have a heavy helmet, you can go into your helmet settings and show crest and whichever crest you've picked in the coat of arms will appear here.
So when you see people running around with giant spikes on their head and things, that's how they're doing it. They select that in their coat of arms, and they come here and select Show Crest. So that's it for now. If you found this useful at all, please subscribe, comment, throw me some likes. You can also follow me on my stream almost nightly at twitch.tv slash Thanks for watching.